nigga like that. And out of little crooked. I am on my way to Spain, Barcelona. So I'm at the airport. It seems like I haven't traveled internationally in a while because, um, yeah, because I, I have it. It's like raining today. They I chose to travel. The weather really sucks. But it's snowing here in New York. We'll see what the weather's like in Barcelona, Spain. The airport, we are actually in Barcelona to be specific. First thing I see when I get to Barcelona is Starbucks. Let's try to show you guys. Starbucks is international. It's everywhere. Look. There's the Starbucks lady. I don't know if you guys can see. It's everywhere. First thing you see when you get off the flight in Barcelona. I did not check my bags because I'm always paranoid that they might lose my, my luggage. So I try to not check in any, well actually I don't try, I don't check in anything. What I can carry on, I don't take. <laughs> That's my rule of thumb because I've experienced my luggage being lost before and it's not a good feeling and I was on vacation, I think it was like Costa Rica or something and I didn't have my luggage for like three days and I told myself, never, hell no, never again. I just arrived at this vegan restaurant. Look how cute this place is. Today is Sunday so a lot of stuff is closed. I ordered pot Thai, these are my food, my style. I'm the only one here, you guys can see me. So I'm just gonna grab a bite to eat and probably just go back to my hotel and kind of chill because it's uh, it was a long flight. It was like seven hours and 15 minutes. I got a slight headache. I don't know if it's from the lashes that I got put on because the girl put too much glue or if it's just me being tired. Who knows? Uh, I will figure it out. Zoom in. Yay. Okay, this looks amazing. Some pad thai noodles. And just a bottle. Okay, it's only $6.95 here. I thought this wall was pretty good. <laughs> it's like all these famous people's mug shot. James Brown. Fred. Jimi Hendrix. Oh my god, it's so cool. I had to share this with you guys. I'm in this place called Welcome to Barcelona. Now it's got the eye. It's called Boomer Belushi. What's the door? Motorcycles here. Motorcycles and mopeds, <laughs> as you can see. Look at the trash bin. Interesting, right? This one is for recycling. I'm assuming one is for bottles. The architecture is beautiful here. It reminds me of New Orleans. Definitely. I love that.
sorry. Barcelona. I woke up late. I was so exhausted after that flight and everything because when I left New York it was snowing. So I'm just getting my day started. It's 12 o'clock Spain time, so which is lunchtime. Pretty busy. I, um, not feeling the greatest today is weird because uh, I got these eyelashes done yesterday and I think the glue that you use I must be allergic to it because it has given me a serious headache and literally guys I slept for about 13 hours yesterday so I am trying to find some kind of CVS or Rite Aid well maybe they don't I'm sure they don't call it that here but I'm going to find some Vaseline so I can take this, this, this crap out because I can't even enjoy my vacation because this headache is just like nagging so that's what's going on, but I'm walking around. Barcelona is really a beautiful place. It is starting to drizzle. It's supposed to rain for the next couple of days. So I'm trying to do it my headache. <laughs> and plus trying to get out to see as much as possible. Today I'm very casual. I just have on some leggings and a shirt. Initially my intention was to go running but like I said I'm not feeling the greatest today but I'm walking around trying to find gasoline so I'm going to take some video clips of the site just to show you guys Barcelona okay love you <laughs> While I was walking, I realized, oh my God, I don't have any money. So I had to stop at this exchange place and exchange money for Euro dollars. <laughs> to Salvador Dali's museum. I am going to try to go to, well, I can't go tomorrow because I booked for the Black Madonna tomorrow, but I think I'm going to go Thursday on my own to take the train. So that's going to be an adventure. Hopefully the rain will calm down in the wind because I think I'll try to do a museum here in Barcelona. Uh, yeah. So that's the plan. I'm trying to see as much as I can see. Since yesterday I kind of wasted an entire day because I wasn't feeling well. So I was basically in bed. This is my tour bus I just got off. We're going to the Maserat Mountains. That's where they have the Black Madonna at these. This is the train station. We're taking a train to actually get there. My tour guide right there is just getting the tickets. That's what's great about being on a tour, guys. Even <laughs> I picked a great time to come to Barcelona. It poured down rain yesterday. It's raining today. Well, actually, it's not raining in the city part. But I guess because we're in the mountains, it's pouring. I will make the best of it. you guys is that the Maserat is a monastery and um, periodically you will see monks walking around in the whole garb it's just that they were coming and going so fast I didn't get a chance to film them but it's a really cool place and you can feel the the energy there the energy felt holy 
it felt serene. So it was a really, really interesting energy I had never felt before. So I really enjoyed myself here. Um, unfortunately, it was just raining so bad, but I made the best of it. Alrighty, here we were in line to see the Black Madonna, which is pretty famous. There she is. Beautiful. Actually, before I went to Spain, I had never even heard of the Black Madonna. That's how ignorant I was to it. But it was, it was pretty cool. Just wanted you guys to take a note if you decide to come to Spain and you're feeling a little homesick. You can always be reminded of home with Taco Bell, McDonald's, they even have a Burger King. Oh yeah, there's the Burger King. And I actually saw KFC, what is it? It's around the corner, but I am about to eat at this place because they look, their salads looks amazing. I just saw this beautiful dress in there. You guys, are we still boycotting Gucci? I don't know. Because <laughs> they got some fly shit in here. Oh my god. <laughs> They're not even. Good morning from Barcelona. <laughs> so, <clears throat> finally, it stopped raining. It's been literally raining for two days. And I attempted to go to Salvador, Salvador Dali's museum in Ferrara, but uh, because of the storm, there's no trains going there. So literally, the first time my tour was canceled today, I was I'm going. I was attempted to go on my own, and uh, no trains are running there. So I am just like walking around the city and just checking out the sights by foot by myself. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm looking at Chanel's new collection right now. Maybe I'll buy a purse. I finally got those eyelashes off that literally gave me a headache for an entire day and I was in bed for literally 24 hours and didn't do anything. So I wasted a day in Barcelona. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but I'm feeling better. That's the past, moving forward. That's what's going on. Okay, love you all. I'll let you guys check out the collection a little bit. Look at that purse. Oh my god. To die for. Zoom in. What is this? Casa. Valo. Guri. I think. How you pronounce it? Oh, that's a famous artist. Look at this building, guys. It is. So, I just bought my ticket. This is the third attempt to get to Salvador Dali's museum in um, actually it's faster because I'm taking an express train so it only takes an hour it actually takes two hours you have to pay a little extra and uh, it wasn't running for the last two days because it's been raining here a lot so the trains were uh, actually they were not running because the tracks were uh, were ruined because of the weather so I'm hoping everything is okay I just purchased my ticket the lady at the ticket counter unfortunately wasn't the most friendly as first she gave me the wrong ticket she gave me 
a ticket by accident to Spain. I'm sorry, she gave me a ticket by accident to France. Can you imagine if I ended up in France? Because I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just following directions that people wrote down. And I showed them a piece of paper, but thank God I decided to, my hair is a mess. I decided to ask another guy, and he said, oh my God, he said, this ticket is not for Ferrellis, which is where Salvador Dali's uh, museum is. He said, this ticket is for France. I said, what? And I almost like freaked out. So I had to go and re return my ticket. She gave me my money back. And then I purchased the correct ticket to Ferraris, <laughs> and which costs more because it's express. I guess it's like taking our, our equivalent to our Amtrak. So I don't know. This is my train. They said it comes at 10.20. So we'll see. Peace out. I'm trying to save, preserve the battery as much as possible because it keeps going dead. So I'm trying to save it for the museum. Okay, just wanted to keep you guys updated. Hi. So you look, I have one today. I have one. So. Les rogamos que bajen el volumen de sus móviles y utilicen las plataformas para hablar. Gracias por su colaboración. Yay! Can you believe it? I actually made it. It was worth it. Isn't this place gorgeous? It's a castle. That's the outside of it. Now, this is the inside enclosure, which reminds me of a courtyard. Guys, this man looked like a king. Wow. Now, that is an up-close shot of Salvador Dali himself. Now, for those of you who do not know who Salvador Dali was, he was a surrealist artist. And a surrealist art is a person that's characterized by creating dream-like visuals and they use a lot of symbolism and collage images. Now, it's defined a surrealist artist as the workings of an artist using their mind, I guess whatever goes on in their mind, and they champion the irrational, the poetic, and the revolutionary. Very powerful. I've always loved surrealist art. This is even as a child, I've always been attracted to it. Who knows? Maybe I was a surrealist artist in another life, but I really enjoyed it, and it was definitely worth the effort. So I hope you enjoyed it also. This place is fascinating. Look at the ceiling. Wow. Look at all the detailing. And this painting is massive. Surrealism art, guys. So, I found some interesting information out that Salvador Dali's body is buried inside his studio theater museum right here which is fascinating. I don't know. Well, I'm going to show and look at look at the top of this ceiling. It's like one of those skylights. He had this design, but then I just found out from the security guard that his body is right here and nobody knows it. Look, that's where his body, that's where he's buried. Right there. Right in the center. Of his, oh my god okay I'm gonna <laughs> I think I'm going out that way too I love it I love the idea wow. right there Carmen this is wonderful so Carmen is my friend I met her actually at the train station and um, she was really cool we um, just hit it off and we drove yeah. to France, which was literally like 20 minutes away. So we drove to France and she took me to this oh, castle. Awesome. How cool was that? Okay, and this so place was fascinating. I um, It's been a little hectic. It was fun at the castle, but now 
is I feel like I'm in a survival episode because I'm trying to get to Barcelona now uh, the trains are interesting you have to basically get searched and put your luggage um, on a rail as if you're going through the airport so that's kind of interesting but uh it's almost six o'clock and uh yes yeah, so I killed some time with my friend my new friend Carmen and uh, now, honestly, I just want to get back to Barcelona. I mean, Figueres is nice and stuff, but I'm really close to France, and which is nice, but I, I just want to get back to what I know, I guess, or what I've known for the last couple of days. But here's the train. I just wanted to tell you guys, the reason I was so anxious was because the trains ran every two hours. So if I missed that train, I had to wait another two hours. And that's what happened the first time. That's why I could not wait to get back to Barcelona. Okay, this is the Coliseum where all the famous soccer matches are held. This is a huge mall which was directly across the street from my hotel. This place was incredible and they had this awesome supermarket in the basement which had everything and it was humongous so i'm at the airport and once you check in it's only one place to eat yes um yeah i wish i had known that because i could have stayed downstairs and checked in later and just like grab something to eat oh and i was selected to for tsa which is interesting i had never been selected. well no yes i have one other time and but it's been like many years, but they checked my luggage, they checked my body, um, and I noticed that they were actually checking a lot of Americans, so I don't know what that was about, but it's a very interesting experience. I asked the guy, can I film it? He's like, no. <laughs> but I figured out what I asked. The worst he could say was no. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm on my way back to the U.S., and um, Barcelona, Spain has been so much fun. Okay.